with your host, Philip Schofield. got our 49 contestants who've been waiting so patiently to play for that holiday of a lifetime. Let's meet them. Here they are, our 49ers! <laughs> Hello, 49ers! <laughs> Looking very summery and happy. Nice to have you along. Best of luck to everyone. Here we go. Let's play. Winning lines! Here is your first question. Pete Sampras last won the Wimbledon men's singles title in which year? First question. Pete Sampras last won the Wimbledon men's single title in which year? Time's up. Right, let's find out if you've waited all this time to go out at the first round. Uh, did you answer that question? If you did, we'll light you pink. Right then. <laughs> OK. Uh, she's right at the top uh, in seat six. She's the only person that answered it. Uh, her name is, uh, is Julia Robinson. Uh, Julia, are you feeling confident? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. The answer, I can tell you, was the year 2000. Julia Robinson, if you were right, we'll light you blue. <laughs> if you were wrong, we'll light you red. Yes! <laughs> Not much competition there, then. <laughs> <laughs> well done to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Whereabouts are you from? Abingdon in Oxfordshire. Uh-huh. And you did have a bit of a problem in Malta, didn't you, with a, with a flight? Oh, yes, we did, yeah. What, what happened? We had a, a bad flooding there, and so we had an overnight delay. And so they took us back to a hotel, and uh, they just let, they gave us a meal. But we had to sleep on wet floors where it flooded mm -hmm. till the next day, then we would take home again. Wow. Well done to you, Julia. Uh, uh, you go through to round two with a time of 13.22 seconds. <laughs> if there were two J's instead of one in a UK Scrabble game, what would be their combined value? Who plays Scrabble? No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Possibly. I don't think so. <laughs> if there were two J's instead of uh, one in a UK Scrabble game, what would be their combined value? Right, if you uh, answered that question, we will light you pink. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is an exciting game this week. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came. Right, <laughs> here we go. So we've got three people who answered uh, that question, 743 and 45. Uh, now let's find out if you gave us the right answer. Uh, we wanted the answer 16. A J is worth eight. So uh, two eights are 16. If you gave us 16, we will light you blue. If not, you'll get a red light. Oh, one red light. That's a shame. And the red light is, uh, is Chris. Uh, Chris Jones, who's in 43, gave us uh, 20. So just four out there, which is a great shame. Thank you very much indeed for playing. Chris, but I'm afraid we have to say goodbye and put you in the dark. Sorry about that, mate. There he goes. Now we have two people. We have uh, up in seat seven, um, Jeff Wilkins, and we've uh, we've Gary Hutton, who's in 45. Uh, one of you is going through to round two. Which of you was the fastest? You both gave us the correct answer. Who goes through? And the winner at 4.99 seconds is Gary Hutton. You, uh, you haven't had a holiday for a while, have you? No, I haven't, no. When was the last time you went on holiday? Uh, about three and a half years ago. Right. And is that purely because of time or not? No, I, I've got a young family with two small boys and, and we said at the time we'd wait till they're, till they're a bit older. So would you like to go around the world? I would love to. <laughs> Who's going to look after your lads if you go around the world? Nan. Nana's going to look Nan. after them. They're quite right too and, and thank goodness for them. All right, you're through to round two. One step closer to going around the world. You can relax a little bit now. The Rovers' return in Coronation Street is celebrating how many years of business this weekend? There are still some puzzled faces here. Maybe not many Coronation Street fans. Perhaps they're all EastEnders fans or Emmerdale or Brookside or... Let's see. The Rovers' return in Coronation Street is celebrating how many years of business this weekend. We'll like you pink if you played that question. 
Just a few more, a smattering, eight people out of our remaining 46. Eight people played, 38 people decided that they wouldn't. The answer we wanted was 100. It opened in 1902, first seen on screen in 1960. 100, the answer we wanted. If you gave us that, you will go blue. If not, it's a nasty shade of red. Two people, uh, unfortunately. Uh, number one and number nine, that's Chris and Annette. Uh, both got that one wrong. Unfortunately, we have to say thanks very much indeed for playing, but we do have to lose you from the game. And away they go, in the dark. Out into the sunshine soon, you're <laughs> nearly out there. Now, of these uh, remaining six people who are lit blue, let's find out who's the fastest. And I can tell you that, in third place, it was Derek Marks. <laughs> Still second, hasn't quite made that extra leap to first place, it's Jeff Wilkins. And in first place at 2.77 seconds, it's Maureen Strickland. <laughs> well done, Maureen. You got there. And um, are you a bit of a fan of Coronation Street? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or was that a lucky guess? No, I watch it. I just you? thought I was at Matt's here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, do you also admit to the dancing that you do? Yeah. Yeah. What sort of dancing do you do? Belly dancing. You're a belly dancer. Now, is this a sort of a keep fit thing, or is, are you in a nightclub? <laughs> uh, no, I go once a week to classes. Right. And um, I drive my husband's across to Turkey to get an outfit as well, all my jangly belts and things. <laughs> so, so do, does, uh, do you have a whole load of people that go with you? Yeah, yeah there's a things? whole crowd of us. You are one step closer to going somewhere on a terrific holiday. Well done to you. We'll send you Thank through you. into round two. How many days of the week contain the letter U? Fast one. How many days of the week contain the letter U? Time's up. If you answered that question, we'll let you pink. 15 people play, 28 people still saving themselves for an easier question, which they hope they're going to get. Not a chance. 15 people played, hopefully gave us the answer four. That's what we wanted. They are Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I think we tripped you up a little bit here. Yeah, let's light you blue if you got it right and red if you got it wrong. 11 people got that one wrong. Um, lots of people answered two, actually. Uh, 11 people got it wrong. If you did get a red light, I'm afraid we have to lose you from the game. There they go, in the dark. Four people got it right. Who's going through to round two? Let's find out who's the fastest. And in third place, it was Dave Albinger. <laughs> Second place, Lorraine Webster. And in first place at 6.82 seconds, it was Jackie Knox. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> She's thrilled to bits. Well done to you. <laughs> When you go on holiday, if you do manage to win this fantastic holiday, will you this time collect the right suitcase? Yes. <laughs> that was my husband's fault. That was not my fault. Oh, it's so easy <laughs> to blame it on someone else, isn't it? What happened? Um, came back from holiday, went to the airport, took my luggage off the conveyor belt, got home, and wondered why there was a lock on the suitcase when we didn't have a lock on ours. And it wasn't our suitcase. <laughs> you picked up someone else's suitcase? We did. How yes. long did you have it for? Just overnight. <laughs> he, had to, he had to take it back to the people the following day before the airport would release ours and give it to him. So you could have picked it, you could have done the washing for them, actually, could have couldn't done, you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you didn't. Couldn't get into the lock. <laughs> <laughs> You're through into round two. Well done to you. If Danny Ocean and his buddies doubled in number, how many would feature in the title of the George Clooney film? Did you see that film? Oh, 38. It suddenly dawned on her then. She thought, now I know. OK. If Danny Ocean and his buddies doubled in number, how many would feature in the title of the George Clooney film? Ocean's what? Let's like you think if you played. <laughs> We've seven people who played that game. Uh, seven people decided they would have a go at that question. The answer we wanted was 22, because the film was called Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven, the name of the film, he gave us 22. Then we'll like you blue. Anything other than 22, and you're going to be lit red. We have five people who got it uh, right. Two people, unfortunately, got it wrong. They were uh, Dave Albinger. Uh, oh, he's got... He actually did very well in the last round, but he's got knocked out now. And Eric Luck. Dave, six. Yeah, I thought it was Three Kings. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, not Ocean's Three. No. <laughs> Completely different film. Sadly, we have to say thanks very much indeed to you. We have to lose you from the game. Away you go.
Thank you, mate. Sorry about that. Now then, let's concentrate on these people who got it right. The five blue lights. All in a row here, some of them. Look at this. 38, 39, 40 and 41. I hope you're not cheating. I hope you're not looking at each other's bits of paper. <laughs> OK, it's not possible. We know that. Here we go. Who was the fastest? And in third place, Tracy Herbert. In second place, Ross Greer. And in first place, 5.31 seconds, it's Sheila Selby. Well done, Sheila. Congratulations. Thank you. You, uh, you quite like cruising, don't I you? I do, yes. So what's your dream ship? Going on the new boat, the Queen Mary, when it's finished. Oh, right, that hasn't been launched yet? No. Oh, right. Well, there is a stunning cruise on our Wonderwall board, so if you get through, you could actually win the cruise good. of a lifetime. Mm. Uh, sounds good? It sounds fantastic. Excellent. We'll talk more in just a few moments when, uh, when we get to round two. What is the answer if you halve the number of the motorway that links London with South Wales? Some of you may have travelled on that to get here today. What is the answer if you halve the number of the motorway that links London with South Wales? Time's up. Who played that question? If you did, we will light you pink. 22 people played, six people didn't, of our 28 that are still in the game. Right. The answer we wanted was two, because it's the M4 that links London with South Wales. So half of that is two. If you gave us two, you have a chance of going around the world. If you didn't, you fell at the last post. Blue or red, what's it going to be? 16 people got it right. Six people got it wrong. Those six people right at the very end. I'm so sorry, but we have to lose you from the game. Thanks for playing. And away they go. All with smiley faces, which always makes it that much worse. Right then, 22 people who are blue. Who's going through? Who's the fastest? In third place, Sheila Henderson. In second place, Mark Toseland. And in first place, and it's a fast answer, 2.99 seconds, it was Michael Cox. Well done, Michael. Thank you. Now, you were a bit of a diver, scuba diver, aren't you? Yeah, last family holiday was scuba diving in the uh, Sinai. Were there other members of your family that wanted yeah, to dive? Yeah, my two sons learnt to dive with me. How old are they? Uh, 16 and 14. Terrific. So that was a real family outing. That's Wonderful. Great. Who are you going to take on holiday with you if you, uh, if you do manage There'll to... There'll be win? a long queue. There will be, yeah. <laughs> a very long queue. Right, well, the queue starts right here because you do have a chance of going around the world. You're through into round two. The other 43, thank you very much indeed for playing. It's been a pleasure meeting you on Winning Lines. <laughs> this is Looking After Number One, and it brings our contestants one step closer to that dream holiday. As with every question up until now, the answers they need are numbers. To make it easier, they're actually the numbers that are right there in front of them. And they are 6, 11, 22, 41, 42 and 45. They're numbers, of course, from the first round. I will ask a question. All they've got to do is to buzz in first. If they get it right, they will be staying and playing. If they get it wrong, then they are down and out. If you're ready, the very best of luck as we play Looking After Number One. <laughs> First question, here we go. One of you will play the Wonderwall. Who's it going to be? Which number is opposite one on a standard dice? And that's Maureen. Six. You're saying the answer is six, and you're right. It is six. You've just knocked out Julia. Oh, no, Julia, I'm sorry. You are in the dark. And away she goes. How many zodiac signs are represented by living and mythological creatures? Tough one. And that's Sheila. 11. You're saying there are 11, and you're right. All except Libra the Scales. You are right. You've knocked out Jackie Knox. It was her number. So sorry, Jackie. How old was Elvis Presley when he died in 19... That's Sheila. 42. You're saying that he was 42 when he died in 1977, born January the 8th, died 25 years ago yesterday. Yes, he was 42. You're absolutely right. You have just knocked out... Maureen Strickland. Maureen, I'm so sorry. You are in the dark. Three people left in the game. How many years ago did Alan Shepard become the first American astronaut in space? 
And that's Michael. 41. You're saying 41, you're right, Michael. It was 41. You knock out Sheila, unfortunately. It was your number, Sheila. 41, you are in the dark. So we are down to just two people. All week we've been waiting to find out who they were going to be and now we know that they are Michael Cox and Gary Hutton. The answer to this next question will be either 22 or 45, your numbers. You're now head to head and the best of luck. One of you will be going on a stunning holiday around the world. One of you's got a country house weekend. Spot the difference. Here we go. Which position in the alphabet is held by the left... Michael. 22. You're saying 22. This is held by the letter that represents five in Roman numerals. 22 is the right answer. Well done. You are still playing the game. Well interrupted. The BBC first began... That's Gary. 45. You're saying 45. I'll finish the question. The BBC first began transmission as the British Broadcasting Company on November the 14th, 19 what? You said 45. The answer is 1922. It's 22. Michael Cox plays the Wonder Wall. <laughs> well done, Michael. And also, Gary, you know, I mean, you've, you've got to play these things, haven't you? Unfortunately, yep. you have got to jump in, and it's really you've got to have nerves of steel, which you've proved uh, proved that you've got. Unfortunately, they let you down right at the last minute. You don't go away empty-handed. You have won this. <laughs> now then, it's time to see if Michael can win that dream holiday. You're a very proud dad, aren't you? Indeed. So what do your, what do your lads do? Well, Alexander, who's 16, enjoys karate. Mm -hmm. And Lawrence, is a, who's 14, is an athlete and is the uh, cross-country champion for his age group. Fantastic. Well, tonight is the night that they'll be very proud of you because no matter what happens, you will have a holiday this evening, Michael. Would you be all right with that? I certainly would. <laughs> Good stuff. Now then, behind Michael is the Wonder Wall. And uh, yet again, the writing is on the wall as uh, we very helpfully put all the answers on it. Each answer has its own number. Now, I ask the questions, and all Michael has to do is to give me the answer and the relevant number. You have three minutes to answer as many questions as you possibly can. Every time you answer a question, you'll go further around the world if you get it right. Of course, if you get 20 right, then that's it. You are three weeks around the world on the holiday of a lifetime. You have in your hand a, a pit stop button. Uh, press that if you want to freeze the action, and that will give you 15 seconds twice to, uh, to just get, get your thoughts together. I will say what's really important, if you don't know the answer to something, just say anything. It may sound stupid, but just say anything, because that gives you more time. Time is the most important thing. We wish you the very best of luck. If you're ready, let's play Wonderwall. Wonderwall. All that stands between you and a trip around the world. Try and remember as much as you possibly can where everything is. We're all hoping that tonight you're the person that goes around the world and we're playing. Which abbreviation refers to a married woman? 40 misses. Correct. Made from batter, what are traditionally eaten on Shrove Tuesday? 15 pancakes. Correct. What is the collective word for the rows of seats on the ground floor of a theatre? Twenty stalls. Correct. What is the name of the blind man in Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island? One balaclava. Five pew. According to the proverb, all roads lead to which city? Six Eclipse. 44 Rome. First seen in the 40s, which mule kept children entertained on TV? 25 Muffin. Correct. What is the former English name for the Chinese capital Beijing? <sighs> 35 Peking. Correct. What is the title of the person who represents the Queen in a British colony? 18 Ambassador. Five Governor. Twins Jenny and Willie were members of which popular TV family? Pass. Uh, bad one, Balaclava. 46 Wooden Tops. 
Which tabloid newspaper published its first edition in 1896? Hey, Daily Express. Three Daily Mail. A male school teacher has which general name? Pit stop taken. One minute 26. You're doing very well. Nice and calm. A male school teacher has which general name? If you find it, scan that board. If you can't say anything. We're playing. 42 master. Correct. What is the Spanish word for river? Ten, agua. Two, Rio. What is the document that grants an inventor the sole right to his invention? 41, pardon. Correct. Which church official has jurisdiction over a diocese? 39, vicar. 36, bishop. What was the name of the dog in the Mickey Mouse cartoons? 19, Pluto. Correct. Which word goes after fruit and acid for the names of two types of boiled sweet? 23, drop. Correct. What is the collective word for all the fish that an angler nets in a day? Do you have a pit stop? 13, catch. Correct. What is another name for the longbow men who helped win the Battle of Agincourt? Pit stop taken. 38 seconds to go. What is another name for the longbow men who helped win the Battle of Agincourt? And we're playing. 45 archers. Correct. When you take up a challenge, what do you metaphorically throw into the ring? 49, hat. Correct. What is the correct name for a type of decorative scarf made from feathers? 29, boa. Correct. Which word partners seek to make the name of a children's game? 43, high. Correct. What are the lines of stitches that have come undone on a pair of tights? 48, donut. 37, ladders. On TV's jukebox jury, what was the verdict of the panellists when they disliked a record? 26, miss. Yeah! in right at the last minute. You all right? Yep. It raises the heartbeat a bit, It certainly it? does. <laughs> Have a look and see how you did. <laughs> well, that's it. That will be excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're thrilled. You've been a great contestant. It's been lovely meeting you. I Thank hope you have a terrific time in Africa. Thank well you. done. Give a round of applause, Michael! Have a good week. Bye-bye.